Pentamonium broke out of heated in the Jacksons. Residents showed clear division over the minister's decision to suspend the councillors. One group questioned the legality of the decision, while another group argued that aggrieved parties should seek legal recourse. The powers that are vested in him as a minister, which is very correct, there's nothing wrong with that. He entirely discussed the fact that there is a measure of autonomy of this body. You are talking about public interest, your decision is upon public interest. Did you observe? here today does not just be on the problem side of one. one. It's all of us at the end of the day will be having a problem in this town. Yeah. And that's what we should have in mind. Not just clapping hands, but you don't know for what you are clapping your hands. Yeah. LPM, SWAPCO, and IBC. Almal is has course. Almal the free that are made. So let us be at ease, be it LPM, be it SWAPO, be it IBC. Let us be at ease. That is number one. So money is not very good for politicians. Any aggrieved party, whoever you might be, the minister explained the law. And if you disagree with the minister, take it somewhere else. Some of the suspended councillors say the minister's announcement over their fate under the guise of a courtesy visit caught them by surprise. As the minister, as the minister, the Muslim understood what had to do. If the minister has done it in a different manner, I would have accepted it and let it go. When a minister invoked the, the section 92, there is procedures that must be followed. And he, the minister must tell us which procedures did he follow to invoke this, this section today. We didn't even receive a notice from the minister, council, councillor by councillor, to inform us you are suspended with allowances of, of without allowances. And in which act of which law does it state that the minister had powers to come and suspend us? Minister Utoni maintained that his decision was within the guidance of the law. The decision that I have taken, it's not an easy decision. But I said, no matter how it's going to be, I have to engage the community. Whether they ask me tough questions, I have to face it. The recent cited includes alleged maladministration, defying ministerial directives, financial mismanagement and interference in administration, as well as illegal conduct of councillors. Luke Mantluter, NBC News, Karasburg.